welcome back to the channel. I'm out here doing another video. We're on another trail. I'm in the Horse Creek uh, recreational area. It's out here kind of on the border of the Cherokee National Forest in East Tennessee. And we're gonna do a couple trails and probably camp overnight. <clears throat> I already have like an idea of a camp spot that I kind of want to do that's on Horse Creek Trail. Um, but when I was on Onyx, I noticed a bunch of little offshoot trails out here so i want to kind of check them out and see if maybe maybe there's another area to camp i got the jeep here and as you can see setup has changed once again and i'll go over that later on in the video and kind of show you um, what's new what we added and we'll see how that works out today for camping and stuff like that but yeah so i'm on a i just turned off onto the first little gravel road here so we'll kind of see where this goes I think it says that there are some campsites down this road, so we'll check them out and see uh, where we camp later on. It's still pretty early. It's only 11 o'clock. Pretty windy today, so I'm using my actual camera with my mic on here so I can cut out some of the wind noise. But um, we probably won't camp until later on. I'm not trying to find camp till like maybe 4 or 5 because it doesn't. it's not going to get dark until about 6. So I kind of like to go explore as long as I can, and then we'll try and find a camp spot. So let's get on the trail. I just did a trail. Um, I'm in the Horse Creek recreational area and I just did a little trail. It's a gravel road, but it's called Old Forge Road. And at the end, they have a campsite or campground. It's got some bathrooms over here. Um, and I'll show you, it's got some camping spots, but they're tent only, so they're walking spots only, but still a pretty nice campground. If you had to, you could post up at the end of the little parking drive here and pop the camper up if I had to or something like that. So it's not a bad area. I'll kind of show you around this little campground here. So it's a nice campground, but again, it's walking only. So you got to bring a tent with you. But they all have, all the sites look like they have picnic tables, fire rings. You can also walk down to the other campsites and stuff like that. And it is right on the river. Can't really see it from this one here, but I can hear it. But it's very nice and clean. I'll take you to another one back here. So this one's just a little bit further back in the woods, kind of. So this one is more dispersed. It doesn't really have a picnic table or anything like that. There is a fire ring. So this is a night. Um, area for a tent pad. We got a little fire ring here. 
And then you can actually see the river from down here. So let me walk down here and give you guys a look. It's crazy because all these leaves are on the ground. You can't see where the rocks are. So you'll like, if you're not careful, you'll slip, you'll hit a rock and bust your butt. And come here. So right here is the river. It's a nice little river. So nice, nice campground. I uh, wish you could pull the truck into some of the spots, but again, just a walk-in tent area. That's basically the first little trail I did. And again, it's just a gravel road. You can get in there with any kind of two-wheel drive vehicle. It's called Old Forge Road. And I'm gonna keep going. There's a couple more. I was looking at Onyx, because I was gonna do the Horse Creek Trail, which I'm probably still gonna do. Um, but there's a couple little roads and trails close by. That's how I found this one. And so I'm just checking them out to see what kind of camping spots or if they're any good for the truck. So we're gonna keep going here now. So this is the current, this is the trail I'm on right now, Old Forge Road, which again is just a like a gravel road. Um, this other trail here is Horse Creek, which I'm probably going to do today. Um, but there is another one here that I kind of want to check out. Uh, I forget, I think it's called Greystone. Um, so I'm going to try and get to that one without having to go all the way around. Uh, on this trail, there is, like as I'm coming up, there's a little offshoot here with the trail. So I'm going to see if I can take that and it leads right up to the main road and I can come back down instead of having to go all the way back up and around. So that's what I'm gonna try and do now. This is that little offshoot, but now I'm looking at it. I don't know if it's actually made for vehicles or not, or made for my size vehicle anyway. I'm gonna walk it real quick. It is super, super windy today. If we end up camping in the GSC, we'll definitely give it a test for the wind. Yeah, I don't know. This looks kind of just like a hiking trail, I think. It gets too narrow so this is just like a hiking trail and it does lead out to that main road but definitely not made for vehicles so if i want to hit up that other road i will have to backtrack to the main road so i'll see what i'm gonna do all right so i made it down to the end um i know that we that way goes to uh horse creek trail which i know is a good trail so i'll probably still end up coming back to do that one but again i'm gonna go check out this other one called graystone i believe and it's back out this way through the main road so i'm gonna go out and check that one out real quick see if it's a good trail if not we'll come back early and do the horse creek all right guys so i just made it to the graystone trail um so far it's just a dirt road we'll see if it gets any technical or anything like that it has a few switchbacks i can see on the map but we're gonna go ahead and do this trail and then see where it leads us to Definitely climbing in elevation though, that's for sure. We're way up here right now. See that, but we are way up here. Still, we've got some views, that's for sure.
guys so i made it to the top of the trail um there's not really anywhere you can camp or anything like that up here uh there's like a little recreation area there's somebody else here too um like a little picnic area um but it doesn't look like any spots to camp or anything like that and so basically i'm gonna head back down and i guess i'll head over to horse, horse creek trail now um almost two o'clock now it's probably gonna take me 30 minutes to get back to the other trail so we'll see how much of the actual trail i'll do before i stop to set up camp and stuff like that all right guys so i made it back to horse creek trail um they have a couple campsites that you can get to right at the beginning but it looks like they're already closed there's a gate they're already closed to the season i guess um but i know there is one nice camp spot halfway through this trail so we'll see how far we get to it um it's about 2:45, and it's going to be getting dark at around 5 5 30 so i know i'll probably won't be able to do the whole trail but the camp spot that i'm hoping to get is about halfway point so we'll see if we can get there and hopefully nobody's there and we'll set up for tonight definitely be able to test the gfc um supposed to get cool tonight not crazy cold but it's like windy windy as hell so we'll see um how this thing does in the wind I stopped and I did air down the tires a little bit because this trail is pretty rocky and stuff like that. It's not just a regular gravel road like the other one does. So I just got out to set up the camera and realized there's a, what you call it, right here. Pretty nice camp spot. This one you could drive into this one here. Nice little fire ring. And it's right on the screen here. This is kind of right at the beginning of the trail too, so that's pretty cool. And you have a water crossing right here to go through. So if that other camp spot is taken, then I can head back and and get this one.
can't see it on camera. This is a really good, pretty good uphill right here. for the gladiator and the GFC. All right guys, so I'm heading back down the trail now. Um, there was somebody uh, parked at the camp spot that I wanted to stay at. They were kind of just there like idling. The truck was running. Um, so I'm not sure if they're just sitting there taking a break there or if they're actually in a camp. So, but I'm just gonna go ahead and head down um, to that other camp spot. Uh, probably set up and at least cook because I haven't really eaten anything all day, so I'm gonna cook up um, some brats. And we'll see if the truck comes down, then maybe I'll head back up, but if not, that camp spot was, was more than good enough, so. This is that steep grade that I was coming down. Or that I was going up, actually. This trail has some awesome views, though. It runs mostly along this uh, stream until you get past that camp spot and you hit like the second half of the trail as you start like increasing elevation a lot. Obviously you move away from it, but this still has more water crossings and stuff like that even. So definitely if you're in East Tennessee area, this, this is an awesome trail, Horse Creek Trail. It is a busy trail though. I've had a couple side-by-sides already pass me and then I stopped at the camp spot just to kind of take a look around and like a whole group of Jeeps came down. So like six Jeeps were coming down and this trail, once you get past that camp spot, it's pretty narrow. So it's like a one, one lane trail. So just, you'll have to keep your eye out. So if somebody's coming down, you're gonna have to try and find a way to let them go by as you're going up or something, but it's pretty tight. All right, so literally the guy came down right behind me. Um, but I think I'm still just gonna stay here at this spot. I'm not gonna drive back up to the other spot. Um, this one's pretty nice, so I'm gonna set up camp here. Here's camp. So again, I'm at the spot. I'm right next to the first water crossing here. It's a nice little drop-in area. It's got a little fire ring. We're right next to the creek here, next to the river. Not sure how cold it'll get tonight, um, but I do want to test out my diesel heater I have. So I'm probably gonna set it up and let it run. I just want to see how long basically my battery, uh, the battery pack that I have will last on it running. Right now I've been running the fridge all day on the current battery pack I have, which I'll show you later. Um, and it's at 95%, so it's a 1500 watt um, unit. So it should be able to last for a while. And then here's the new 
edition. I picked up a GSC. I picked it up used. So if you watched my last video with the tent review I did and stuff like that, I said in that video that that was really going to be just a temporary setup, but I didn't realize how temporary. I literally had it on there for maybe two months. I didn't even get a chance to even camp in it yet. Um, and then this one came up because I was originally going to order one. And then when you order in, you know, it takes maybe about six months for GFC or something like that. They say they're faster right now, but who knows? But most companies are like six months to a year. So if I ordered it, I was going to have to wait a while. That's why I got the tent. But this one came up used uh, not too far from me. So I kind of just jumped on it. And yeah, I'm super happy with the setup so far. So I'm going to go ahead and pop it up. This one has pretty much all the options. So it has the front and rear window. It has the side windows on the tent. He did also include a ladder for it. And he's got some awning mounts. Um for the tent windows so they'll they'll stick out but let me go ahead and get the tent set up all right so there she is set up that's what's awesome about these things way faster than like the tent that i had literally just two pins pull it and it pops up so it does have the brown tent material which i'm okay with orange would have really popped and looked cool but it does have the side doors which i did want originally but i don't know now we'll have to see after a few nights camping it because these things i kind of really didn't pay attention but i knew this is how they kind of worked but if you see, they zipper here, but they don't zipper all the way around. So technically, the tent is open here. So you can go in. Right here, there is a screen uh, mesh there for, like, bugs, but technically, that's open. So if I would have got one without the doors, saying if it's really, really windy or really cold, um, you wouldn't have had a draft coming in there. And that's the same for also the rear. Um, and these are the mounts for the awning poles and the little clip that you put it into um but we'll have to test it out and see how it works but i'm really happy with the profile of it very low profile um and just the weight it's super light i haven't done nothing to the rear suspension after adding this stuff yet it does have aftermarket springs on it um, but i haven't upgraded them to a beefier one or not nothing like that and I'll do a full walk around um, later, maybe even tomorrow before I leave. But basically, it's got access on all the sides here. And then I'll kind of give you a rundown of my stuff. I literally just brought everything just to see what I would need. I really don't know what I kind of need with this setup now. I'm kind of thinking I really want like a single drawer to help me get rid of some of these totes. And then I can mount a fridge on top of that. But... That's kind of what I'm using for my battery pack. It's a Pecron 1500. And so far it's been really, really good. I'll show you the actual key feature later on that I really like about that unit over other ones. I just bought a cheap um, Bouge RV fridge. It was like 288 bucks. So it'll get the job done, 45 liter, I believe. And then here's my diesel heater. So this is one of the Chinese diesel heaters that you can get on Amazon or eBay. And it was 199. So we'll see how that works. And I do have a temperature here. In the back it was a little warmer, but outside right now it's about 60 degrees. So we will see if we need the heater or not. And I kind of just threw my food back there when I went shopping. But this thing will charge my drone, all that stuff. So I'm pretty packed in, I'm pretty loaded right now. So it's pretty nice. And then up top, I gotta take the cushions off because I do have I think I have them in the truck. Um, but he also did include like the plaid um, cushion covers. So I'm gonna put those back on. I washed them. So I'm gonna put those back on. So I'm kind of organize this, set this up here and get rid of the cook. I got a little fire going. Do some cooking. So I did pick up a new stove. So this is one of those Coleman ones. So it's got a side burner, but this has like an actual grill. But it's like an actual grill. So I wanted something that I can actually grill on and stuff like that instead of just the two burner. So I'm gonna cook up some brats. 
get some brats, eat, relax. It's starting to get dark already. It's like 420 and it's already starting to get dark. It's crazy. This thing actually works really, really well. So it cooks the brats just like on a regular grill, which is nice, which is what I was looking for. With the grill, you don't really have that much cleanup. You still do have that oil drip that's at the bottom. Um, it's got a little tiny tray that you just empty out, which is nice. But yeah, this is awesome. It grills up just, just perfect. All right, we're gonna eat. All right, guys, so it's pretty dark out right now. Um, I have everything set up, but I don't know if you can even hear it in my voice, but I've been kind of feeling a little bit sick like all day. So I was kind of just gonna not worry about it and just camp overnight, but I can really feel it like kind of in my chest now. So I'm thinking I may just pack up and just head home and not actually uh, stay the night. All right, guys, I'm back home. I didn't really feel an outro to the video. I was kind of coming down with a cold there. Um, and so I decided not even to camp that night. I packed up and just headed back home. You can still see the Jeep still pretty dirty and stuff like that. But <clears throat> I've been basically sick in bed like the last two days. Um, but that last outing gave me a, a good insight on like how I'm going to be able to organize and pack stuff out. Um, so I have some ideas for, for doing some organization and stuff like that for the back. Um, but the trip overall was pretty good. I'm hoping to be able to get out again and actually stay a night or two in the camper and see, you know, how it work out with, with everything loaded out in the back and stuff like that. But anyways, stay tuned. Uh, I'm going to do some reviews on the, the battery pack I have, the Pecron the little fridge I'm using and also the diesel heater um, that I, I was maybe going to use that last that last camping trip but I don't think really it was going to get cold enough but yeah so stay tuned for that